Hey guys, welcome back to See Before See today. Today we're celebrating the 13th anniversary of Grimm, the show that had us all looking twice at our furry friends. We're gonna take a look at how much the cast has changed since 2011, and we'll spill some tea on their lives off screen. First up, we have the lovely Elizabeth Tullock, who played Juliet Silverton and Eve. Let's see how much she's changed over the years. Remember the sweet and charming Juliet Silverton, who undergoes a stunning transformation throughout the series, becoming the powerful and enigmatic Eve? Brought to life by the talented Elizabeth Tullock, her complex journey, filled with unexpected twists and turns, captured the hearts of viewers and solidified her place as one of Grimm's most beloved characters. After Grimm's final curtain call in 2017, Elizabeth Tullock continued to grace our screens. In 2018, she joined the cast of the superhero series, Supergirl, bringing the iconic Lois Lane to life. This role further cemented her reputation as a versatile and critically acclaimed actress. In 2021, Elizabeth married her co-star from Grimm, actor David Giuntoli. Together, they share a son and reside in Los Angeles, where both continue to thrive in their successful careers. Beyond Supergirl, Elizabeth can also be seen in the series Superman and Lois, a spin-off exploring the family life of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. As you already know, her film appearances after Grimm are limited to the 2017 release, We Love You Sally Carmichael, Remember the charismatic Nick Burkhart, the detective who discovered his true calling as a Grimm? David Giuntoli won over the audience with his charisma and talent playing Nick Burkhart, a detective who is forced to face a world of supernatural creatures after discovering that he is descended from a line of hunters. Beyond Grimm's final curtain call in 2017, Giuntoli embarked on a diverse journey. In 2018, he joined the poignant drama A Million Little Things, exploring the enduring power of friendship and resilience but his talents extend beyond just drama. He ventured into action in the 2016 film, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, portraying a real life security contractor facing chaos. And he charmed audiences with his comedic timing in the 2016 rom-com, Buddy Moon, where he starred alongside his grim co-star, Claire Coffey. In 2021, Giuntoli found his own happily ever after, marrying Elizabeth Tullock, his partner in crime solving on Grimm. Together, they raise their son in Los Angeles, both flourishing in their successful careers. Giuntoli continues to captivate viewers in the ongoing drama, A Million Little Things, currently in its fifth season. In 2023, he took on the iconic role of Batman once again in the animated film, Batman the Doom That Came to Gotham. Remember the enigmatic Monroe, the bloodbad detective who navigated the world of Weeson in Grimm? Beyond the fantastical realm, Silas Weir Mitchell continues to enthrall audiences with diverse roles, showcasing his depth and talent. Following Grimm's finale in 2017, Mitchell embarked on a new chapter. He garnered acclaim for his complex portrayal in the historical drama Paradise Lost, alongside Josh Hartnett and Bridget Regan, further solidifying his range. Mitchell's personal life flourishes alongside his career. Happily married to K.K. Dodds, he brings his academic background in theater and religion to each performance. His journey continues with an array of recent projects. In 2023, he starred in the modern love story, Life of Riley, and captivated viewers with his guest appearance in Criminal Minds. Currently, Mitchell graces the silver screen in Detained, joined by Abby Cornish and Moon Bloodgood. Hey! Before proceeding, let's take a short break to learn some fun facts about Grimm and see how some of the supporting cast are doing. Believe it or not, Grimm almost stayed locked in a storybook. The show was initially developed for another network, but thanks to a real life plot twist, the 2007 writer's strike, it found its way to NBC in 2011. Forget happily ever after though. Grimm takes the dark and fantastical side of the Brothers Grimm's fairy tales and throws them into a modern day police drama. Imagine Weezen, creatures straight out of those stories, walking among us, but the magic doesn't stop there. Even the names of the Weezen are rooted in real Germanic words, each one a hidden clue to their mythology. So, next time you hear Blutbad or Hexenbeast, remember, it's not just a cool name, it's a piece of history whispering in your ear. Grimm might have had a different beginning, but the final story is one of creativity, hidden depths, and of course, Weezen galore. Remember the captivating Adeline Shade, the mysterious Hexen Beast who evolved from villain to heroine in Grimm? Claire Coffey continues to charm audiences with her versatility and talent beyond the fantastical world of Weeson. After Grimm's final curtain call in 2017, 
Coffee embarked on a diverse filmography. She ventured into the iconic world of detective dramas with her guest appearance on Law and Order in 2022 and showed her action chops in Lie Hard the same year. Her comedic side shone through in the holiday film A New Lease on Christmas, 2021. Coffey also explored suspenseful roles, like her memorable character Danielle in the series Lincoln Rhyme, Hunt for the Bone Collector, 2020. She even lent her talent to the short film Claire Coffey and Blocks, 2020. Beyond acting, Coffey co-founded The Grimcast in 2022 with her Grim co-stars, offering fans a unique insight into the show and rekindling the Grimm community. Balancing career and family life, she currently resides in New York with her husband, musician Chris Thiel, and their son. While future projects haven't been announced for 2024, there's no doubt Coffee will continue captivating audiences with her diverse talents. Remember the tenacious detective Hank Griffin, the partner who stood by Nick Burkhart's side in Grimm? Russell Hornsby continues to captivate audiences with his versatility and range, venturing beyond the realm of Weizen into diverse storytelling. After Grimm's final case in 2017, Hornsby pursued an illustrious career path. He tackled poignant subjects in seven seconds and proven innocent, showcasing his dramatic depth. He transitioned seamlessly into action with Creed II and the crime drama BMF, demonstrating his adaptability. Currently, he's in post-production for the intriguing The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat, keeping us all in anticipation. Hornsby's dedication extends beyond the screen. He shares a happy life with his wife, Denise Walker, and they welcomed a son in 2017. His athletic background in football and track shines through his powerful presence on screen. Remember the captivating Rosalie Calvert, the resourceful Fuchsbau, who ran the magical apothecary in Grimm? Brie Turner continues to enchant audiences beyond the fantastical world of Weeson, though she has shifted her focus in recent years. Following Grimm's final potion in 2017, Turner explored her creativity through independent and short films, showcasing her versatility. She has also made impactful appearances in popular series like 911 and Law and Order Special Victims Unit, reminding us of her dramatic presence. More than acting, Turner actively engages with the Grimm community. In 2022, she teamed up with co-stars Claire Coffey and Elizabeth Tullock to launch The Grimcast, a podcast where they revisit the beloved series, offering fans a new way to connect with the show. On a personal note, Turner prioritized spending time with her family daughter Stella Jean and son Dean after navigating a life change in 2018. While currently focusing on personal fulfillment, her talent and infectious energy leave us eager to see what future endeavors she pursues. Now, another quick break for more fun facts and more about the supporting cast. Think you know everything about Grimm? Think again. Ever notice all those numbers scattered around in episode titles, addresses, and room numbers? Well, here's a secret. They're not random. Each number is a sneaky code, blending the episode and season numbers together. Talk about hidden Easter eggs you can only spot with a keen eye. But not all secrets are fun and games. Sometimes, real-life situations force even the best characters to say goodbye. Remember Nick's mom? Sadly, the actress who played her, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, couldn't keep traveling for filming due to scheduling conflicts. So, with a heavy heart, her character had to leave the show. Grimm might have hidden surprises and heartbreaking goodbyes, but one thing's for sure. It's a show packed with creativity, adventure, and unforgettable characters. So, dust off your detective hat, and prepare to be grimified. Remember the enigmatic Sergeant Drew Wu, the loyal officer who stood by Nick Burkhart in Grimm? Beyond the realm of Weizen, Reggie Lee continues to captivate audiences with his versatility and charm. After Grimm's final case closed in 2017, Lee embarked on a diverse journey. He brought his captivating presence to the legal drama All Rise with a recurring role, showcasing his ability to navigate different genres. He further broadened his repertoire with a powerful portrayal in the crime series NCIS New Orleans, proving his range within the action genre. Lee's talent will continue to shine in 2024. He joins the iconic franchise CSI Vegas and will soon appear in the TV movie Under the Bridge, keeping us eagerly waiting to see his on-screen charisma. Born in the Philippines and fluent in both English and Tagalog, Lee brings a rich cultural background to his performances. He is also devoted to family, cherishing his bond with his younger brothers, 
musician Nathan, and comic book artist RV. Remember the enigmatic Captain Sean Renard, the powerful police captain with a mysterious past in Grimm? From Weeson to beyond, Sasha Roiz continues to enthrall audiences with his charismatic presence and diverse talent. After Grimm's final Weeson hunt in 2017, Roiz embarked on a prolific journey. He seamlessly transitioned between genres, appearing in thrillers like Taken and FBI International, lending his dramatic touch to shows like Suits and Departure, and even venturing into animation with voice roles in Red Sun and Turning Red. His recent recurring roles in 911 and Chicago Med demonstrate his ability to captivate viewers on both network and streaming platforms. Beyond acting, Roe is trained in theater and history, shaping his nuanced performances. Born in Israel and raised in Canada, he brings a global perspective to his roles. Though currently single, he maintains a vibrant personal life, actively engaging with fans and colleagues. And there you have it, a fascinating exploration of the Grimcast's post Weezen journeys. But the Grim legacy, like the Weezen themselves, lives on. Do you have lingering questions about your favorite characters' paths? What hidden gems of the Grim universe excite you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the Grim conversation thriving. And while you're here, consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on this video. See you next time.